Hey folks, it's Dag. So this is a repost of a video I did a couple of years ago and it's becoming really relevant now because I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say, how heavy can you make an airplane? And basically this Avante I turned into the lead sled. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you're one of my longtime followers, yes, this is a repost, but I'm doing it for new fans that wanted to kind of have an explanation what to do when you design really heavy airplanes and what happens. Rock on. Welcome everybody. So this is kind of a special project I've been working on for about five years. It's been taking a Vante S and basically turning it into a complete lead sled. So what I mean by that folks is originally I had fiberglass this plane and put a camo paint job on it as you can see here and I added about five ounces to it. And one of the reasons I did this, folks, is I love to experiment and see how aircraft work as they get heavier. And it was kind of a conversation I had with some friends about uh, if it would ruin an airplane by adding weight to it. And um, so I decided to go to the next phase and add uh, a, a bunch more weight. I ended up adding a total of 14 ounces to this airplane. And... Um, I basically uh, filled in all of the places that the airplane went together. So it's one solid airframe now. You can't take it back apart. So I, uh, you know, filled in any of the joints and made fillets, primed the hell out of it. There's probably eight coats of primer on this plane. And then I put two coats of black primer on it. And then I put the um, metallic silver, the Rustoleum metallic silver on it. And... My whole goal here, folks, was just to see how much weight I could add to it while just using the battery to keep the CG right. And I was able to add 14 uh, total ounces, which means that the airplane uh, pretty much ended up around 7 pounds, and it was supposed to be like 6.2 pounds, I think. And the reason I do this, folks, is I love to see how planes behave. And I also 3D printed the little stall fences, made my own, adjusted the stall fences on the wing to just see how the plane would behave. And I do have some video coming up of it flying soon. I just, uh, in this video, I just want to do an update on what I did to the plane. I've got about 15 flights on it. I, I do call it the lead sled. And um, it is just really heavy, but it flies beautifully. So I'm having to completely rethink all the videos I did about cubed wing loading. Uh, my wing loading is over 41 ounces, um, and uh, my cube wing loading is about 24, which is just insane. And folks, it's making me really truly rethink um, how high wing load airplanes behave, especially if they've got stuff helping augmenting the stall, like stall fences and flaps. And I never, ever, hardly ever use flaps on airplanes, but on this airplane, I definitely use flaps. And... I guess my whole point is just to help people understand how heavy airplanes behave and how air heavy airplanes fly. Now, one of my friends tells me I'm a really good pilot, and maybe to me this is simple. And to a novice pilot, they would get really into uh, a corner with this plane and have problems. Uh, you can see I did add some yellow on it because I want to be able to see it. And just so you know, that camouflage was almost impossible to see on a hazy day. If it was a cloudy, hazy day, it disappeared. You didn't know if it was right side up, left, right side down. It was turning left, turning right. It was a bitch to see. But uh, this airplane has pretty good visibility in the sky. And I did uh, get some Cali graphics and throw on it. Uh, F-104, I think, was the, uh, you know, the decal set I got. And I was just really super imp impressed with this. I mean, it flies beautifully, folks, even that it's really overweight. Hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe. Rock on and have a great day.